Look at this. The very symbol of man's inventive genius. The better mousetrap is neither better nor was it first. And among the varieties of traps that man has perfected over the years, whether it be the spring action type, the glue trap, or pitfall, he must be humbled by the fact that all of these existed long before his time in the lowly green world of nature. And that's the fascinating and little known world that Mrs. R.C. Poole of Cantonville, Maryland is curious about. And she writes, I was surprised to learn recently that there are several varieties of plants that actually trap and eat animals. Now, what I can understand is how in the world a plant would know it has something to eat in its maw, let alone trap an animal. Can you explain this? Well, Mrs. Poole, we have some extraordinary film produced for us by Dr. Tilden Roberts, renowned biologist and naturalist photographer. Films that prove that the better traps existed long before man became inventive. For example, this is a species of carnivorous plant known as the Venus flytrap. Its similarity to a man-made spring trap is quite remarkable. The general appearance, the teeth, and the action. Another striking resemblance between the Venus flytrap and the spring action trap is the Venus flytrap has a trigger also. In fact, it has six of them, three on each side. But here's where the similarity ends. The man-made trap doesn't know the difference between an animal and a block of wood, but the Venus flytrap does. You see, one touch of the trigger is not enough, but when the triggers are touched more than once and at just the right interval, the trap is sprung. Nature has seen to it that no energy is wasted on a leaf or twig that might fall into the trap. It's amazing how these trigger hairs work. There's actually a flow of electrical current from these barbs to the tip of the plant. When anything touches them, the flow of current is interrupted, and the correct number and the right timing of these impulses cause the trap to spring. How about that? Oh, by the way, the Venus flytrap even has a stomach. This insect will soon be digested, and in a few days, Venus will be on the prowl again. There are other carnivorous plants that may not be quite as active as the Venus flytrap, but are just as efficient. The trumpet plant a tall and beautiful member of the pitcher plant family is a type of pitfall. Inside a long, narrow tube are glands that produce a sweet-tasting nectar, which insects just can't seem to resist. The strategy of a trumpet is very simple. You see, it encourages the nectar addict to follow the line of least resistance. But getting out is a different matter. The tiny hairs on the inside, which provide a smooth carpet on the way down, suddenly become a prison of spears. The common pitcher plant is a most efficient pit of death. When an insect topples into this trap, a pool of death waits below. A liquid carefully compounded by nature to stupefy, kill, and finally digest him. Beautiful. But oh so deadly efficient. This is the sundew plant, nature's own brand of flypaper. Through lapse time photography, we see its glue-bearing tentacles in action. Can you imagine building a complex trap into a plant no larger than the head of a pin? Well, nature did it with a tiny water plant called Utricularia. Each of these globular objects houses an intricate trap that not only catches and eats its prey, it resets itself. Now, what you're looking at is a glass model. The actual trap is so tiny it takes a microscope to see it work. Now here goes, and don't blink your eyes. Did you see the catch? Well, if you did, you're pretty good. That took place in 1 50th of a second. Now, let's watch it again. Efficient and foolproof? Well, there's one slight exception. You see, once in a while, the utricularia overeats and gets indigestion. When you see a complicated mechanism such as this, all built into an area no larger than the head of a pin, it makes you realize that man's best traps look crude and ineffective by comparison. Well, Mrs. Poole, we hope that answers your request.
you asked for it